and this is used in uh, management. This thing will create the graph for your schedule. So for example, if the task is to make a website for your company, and these are the tasks you have to do and the days needed, this thing will create a graph for it explaining the schedule. Okay, so let's see how to do it. Step one, click anywhere outside the table. Don't click inside, click outside. Then go to insert on the top and go to stacked bar. So stacked bar. Then go to select data. So in chart design, go to select data. And on the left here, click on add. Okay. Chart, design. chart design, select data, and click on add. So you'll get a new window like that. In series name, click on the date started. And in series values, delete this and select the date started column. On the series name, we put the past names and then. No, on the series name, you click on the date started. And in the series values, you select this column, the date started column. Click on OK. And then on the right here, click on Edit. Not the middle edit, on the right edit. So there's two edits. Don't click on the middle one. Click on the right side one. So once you click on it, a new window opens up. And in this window, select the first column, the tasks, without the title. So start from here and select this column. So look at that. All of these guys are here now. And the dates are here. And click on OK and click on Okay. Then do some formatting, give a proper chart title. Say this is schedule for for your web page for your company. So give a proper chart title and make a note, these guys should not overlap. The date should not overlap. So you have to fix that. So what you do is click on the dates, then go to home on the top. And this alignment button or the orientation button, click on it and say to counterclockwise or clockwise, one of them, and then they will look better. Yeah, yeah? so they should not overlap. Make a note. Okay. 
Okay, the other thing you want to do is find website name is your first task when you're making a web page. That should not be at the bottom. That should be on the top. Right, so you right click on the name here. Right click here and go to format access. Then you do categories in reverse order. Click and you get the categories in reverse order like that. Does that make sense? Next step is go back to chart design on the top. And go to select data again. And now click on add again. And now in series name, you click on the new column which is left out. So now we say days needed and the series values, you select this column C. So now look at that, the orange things have popped up. That makes sense? Yeah. Should I do it again? Mm. Okay, you do okay and then okay. Okay, so these orange ones are actually your schedule. So the blue ones have to go. They have to go. They have to go, they have to disappear. So to make them disappear, what you do is you click on the blue one, right click and format data series. And then you go to fill. And you say no fill. You right click on the blue one, format data series, go to the first one, and click on no fill. Look at that, they disappear. Close. Let's make it a bit wider if your dates are not visible. Let's rotate them the other way so that they're visible. Yeah, otherwise they're going outside. Did that make sense so far? Yeah. Now what you want to do is you want to reduce the gap between the first and the first schedule. So you right click on the date and go to format access. And in the minimum here, you give something close to your minimum date. So this is 12.03. So in here, put something close to it. Let's do 10.03. And press enter and look at that. It becomes smaller. You can do the same thing for the end here. What is the maximum date here? Zero one zero four, but that's taking forty days. So somewhere in, let's do zero nine zero five is here. So something after. So maybe fifteenth of May. That make sense? All right, then you can get rid of the back lines to make it cleaner. The last step, you give the labels. So you click on this one, go to plus and say data labels. So this thing here is called the Gantt chart. The what? 
the Gantt chart, G A N T T. So this thing is basically graphing your schedule. So the website name should take you four days. The design of the page should take you 30 days like that. Any questions here? If you want to increase the number of dates shown here, right click, format access, and in this major here, put seven, then you should see more dates. So it's a better idea. Yes or no? Yes. Sir. Good. All right, second graph will be called, hold on, let me stop the recording. Let me do one video at a time. 